So this is a super easy problem, but now that Desmos is a huge part of the test, I guarantee a lot of people are going to get this wrong because this is what they're going to do. They're going to see this equation and they're going to type it right into Desmos like this. 10 times 15x minus 9 equals negative 15. You guys can see the numbers. 10x. And they're going to zoom out and zoom out and see, oh, there's no line. So there's zero solutions. That's actually the wrong answer. And you could solve this algebraically without much trouble. It's not a hard algebra problem. If you want to solve it with Desmos, I'll show you how. You basically take this second part of the equation and just make it a second equation. So I'm going to uh, hit cut and paste. I'm going to get rid of that equal sign. And if I flash this, or I guess this one on and off, you could actually see that it's the same exact line, one on top of the other. So two of the same line, um, it's infinite solutions. So that's the answer. Now, this is just like a reminder that even though we have Desmos and Desmos is super powerful, you can't just use it blindly. 